the third couple to be eliminated from Dancing with the Stars 2018 and leaving the dance floor tonight is... Zach and Christy. Oh. Jesus. And we have with us now the latest contestant to be eliminated from Dancing with the Stars, Zach Franich and his dance partner, Christy. Welcome to the cafe, guys. Hey, thank you for having It's always like, when we have you on, it's always like, oh, but you know, it's great to see you, but it's, and it's like, oh, but it's it not sucks. great to see you because it you're sucks. off. And I think yeah. everyone can agree that you weren't the person that should have been going. You guys were not the ones that should have been leaving the dance floor. How did it feel? Like when you're there and you hear your name, I mean, what goes through your head? Just gutted, eh? Like you put so much into it and um, it's been an incredible experience. But I guess, yeah, for Christy and I, like we, we wanted to go out there and show that we didn't look out of place and that we could actually dance. And um, we felt we did that, you know, like we got the first nine of the competition. We, you know, going into Monday, we were top of the leaderboard. So such great scores. I know, like what, else could we really do you know like we it's just one of those things and what would you say christy about working with zach oh i'm so lucky to have been paired with zach for sure he works so hard he's put absolutely everything into it and com just completely trusted me um and that's the best that's all you can ask for and mm. a partner just works so hard Zach, how much practice goes into this? Because I'm really fascinated. We see you all practicing in the behind the bits, scenes yeah, bits. But how much actually goes in every day? What, what are you doing? So oh, much. so much. Like, we would have done over 200 hours worth of rehearsals. Like, you'd training like 9.30 till 3.30 on a day, fitting your entire life around that. Um, so you, so you your jobs and everything go around this? yeah, like jobs, relationships, everything. Oh. It's, um, there's a lot going on. Also, I'd get home and then I'm trying to think about what what dance we're doing, what I'm going to teach him, what, trying to come up with ideas. Um, so you just you'd never stop. Gosh. Well, I stop. guess you get the chance to stop now. And for you, Christy, I guess you broke your three-week curse. Yes, I did. But yes. what is it against reality TV stars? Because <laughs> you're the third and final reality TV star <laughs> yeah, on that I, show to go. I don't know. I, don't th I mean, I don't think it's anything too personal. I think you know we're, we're all there. Um, doing, we're trying to do something for, trying to do some good. We're there dancing for really good charities and just trying to put something good out there. So Did you love it? Absolutely. Nice. Yeah, loved mm. it. It was a really challenging experience, but loved every minute of it. Wouldn't do it any differently and would only do it with Christy. And a great platform for you too to talk about your charity, which was Live More Awesome um, and mental, your mental wellness as well. Absolutely. I think, you know, I think what I enjoyed possibly, one of, one of the things I really enjoyed about the show was you get these moments, they might even be 30 seconds a minute maybe, where you can talk about whatever you want. And um, I'm just really stoked and proud that I got to, ch I got to uh, talk about something positive and try and make a difference in that area because, you know, it impacts a lot of people. Yeah. How long did it take you to decide to do it? Were you in straight away or did you sit back and think about it, have discussions? I definitely had a bit of a think about it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I know any guy who will confidently put, confidently put yeah. their hand up and say, I can dance, yeah. I can dance on TV. But um, no, I thought about it and um, I was like, hey, another opportunity. You never know where you end up, you never, never know who you might meet. And again, like a, a chance to just be really vocal and talk about yeah. something really positive. And you've obviously made a great friend with Christy. Yeah. Now, Christy, your story. So you're married to Johnny, who's dancing with Jess on the show. Is this right? Yes. You've got an eight-month-old baby. So you dropped yes. 22 kgs when you found out the show was coming back. Yes. Um, and so who's been looking after you, your, your little boy? Oh, I'm so thankful to my mum. Um, we have an amazing support team around me and Johnny to even be able to do this show and for it to be possible. My mum not only made our costumes and Johnny and Jess's costumes, but looked wow. after our little eight-month-old, Made sure our daughter, who just turned six, got off to school and then took lessons for me when I couldn't teach. So, like, oh. just so thankful to have the support. What is, Christy, the hardest thing to teach someone who can't dance? I'm not saying <laughs> you can dance, <laughs> that sounded awful, but someone who's not a dancer, what is the hardest thing to teach them? Because, you know, you hear the judges talk about frame and yeah, length and all I that. Yeah, I think um, everybody's different. Right. So with Zach, you know, they keep saying because he's done so much kayaking and surfing and so his shoulders are hunched over, I think, you know, we keep getting... A brought lot, up on that, yeah, yeah. We keep getting brought up on his frame. Um, but that's so hard to teach in four, you know, four weeks. Mm. It's yeah. 
we've been doing it for all our life, you know. It's a very difficult thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. You just touched before on relationships, how, how you know, obviously everything goes into the dancing. How is it with your relationships? I mean, how do you actually keep things alive? Well, I think like, we're both really, well, I mean, I'm really lucky um, that I've got someone as supportive as Erin, um, who's, who's, who's my partner. Who, she's amazing, she's incredible. So. Um, it make, definitely makes it a lot a lot easier when um, they're there in the trenches with you. And you know, I know Chrissy, you know, loves having Johnny I, there. And... It's one of the biggest things that I love about this show um, was being able to go to work with Johnny. At least you get to see him. Yeah, <laughs> going and just doing this whole experience with him. And I think that's one of the things that I'm going to miss. What do you think was harder, Zach, The Bachelor or Dancing with the Stars? I actually think. Um, Oh, oh man, I, I felt I felt a lot more exposed on, on Dancing with the Stars. I felt, um, you know, you're out there, there's nowhere to hide. You're on the dance floor, everyone sees you, you can't, you know, when you're going through a process like The Bachelor, you know, you can be, you know, kind and, and polite and courteous and at least no one can, can take that away from you. Whereas when you're dancing, it's so much more subjective. Like you might yeah. look, you know, what one person might think looks good, someone else might say this or that and yeah, you really are in your purest form. Oh, you're vulnerable. Just oh, you're very vulnerable. Yeah. Oh, I know, you've got it all out there, all out there. And I want to ask really quickly, yes, because yes, we always ask this, yeah. um, who do you He's think gonna is going to win? Oh, Jess. Johnny and Jess. Yeah. Easy. Johnny and Jess. Okay. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Mm. Oh, well, it's been a pleasure having you guys in here. Hey, and, thanks for having oh, us. Another one. Make sure you keep watching Dancing with the Stars Sundays at 7, Mondays at 7.30 on 3. And don't forget, you can catch any episodes that you've missed on 3 now. Yeah, I'm loving that show.